Hey guys, for in this video, I want to do the full review over here of the new Sanj Mod M9 update on the Sony Xperia Z2 smartphone over here. As you can see, this is the Sanj Mod M9. First, we will go to the settings, then about phone, then we will be seeing here, here we have the Android 4.4.4 KitKat, the latest version of the Android at the moment. It's a model number Xperia Z2, and we have here some mobile information. Now this is the Sony Mod M9, and okay, Sony Mod version. As you can see, this is CM uh, Sony Mod 11 M9 here on the uh, Xperia Z2, and uh, this is also available for Nexus 5 and some other devices. Uh, but as you can see, so first of all, when we install this, uh, we have the Android L uh, buttons over here. Android L touch button, we have the circle, we have the square, and then we have the triangle uh, button. And also, uh, we have the same kind of like launcher, uh, just like a Nexus 5 uh, holding here. We will have two, uh, three options. This is Google Now Launcher. Uh, to be more clear, we have these wallpapers, these stock wallpapers and also we have the widgets and we have settings uh, same like Nexus 5 uh, I also installed the new Google camera app from the Play Store to use it and also uh, Play Store and all kind of stuff uh, and all those basic stuff like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi uh, browser, everything works great without any kind of problem, no crashing of music player, nothing so uh, the Sony Mod M9 is actually in nightly, but it's pretty, pretty uh, smooth and uh, stable. Um, so, uh, so I'm actually using Modi ROM theme here uh, on my on my Sony Xperia Z2 over here. Uh, this is the Modi ROM theme. Now uh, this theme has the Android L buttons over here. It has the, its own wallpaper, its own uh, here UI. So all these things are made possible by this all new theme engine over here. Uh, we have this themes in theme engine. Now as you can see, uh, I have a whole of default and Modi ROM theme. This is the default theme that uh, came with the, uh, this uh, ROM here. I'm not using it. So uh, the Sony Mod M9 over here uh, does come with its uh, own kind of neat features uh, like Team Engine, only the Team Engine. Now here we have the quick toggles, we have uh, the owner information, we have the brightness, then we have the settings, then we have Wi-Fi, then uh, we have some emergency calls. Uh, uh, actually here the, your signals of your carrier came but I don't have any kind of SIM card installed at the moment. And then we have the location, then we have torch or flashlight, then we have the battery percentage, then we have airplane mode, then we have Bluetooth and the auto rotate. Now these are the quick toggles here, I can add it by uh, cl uh, clicking here, plus I will add anything I want and then clicking here, it will the notification will came here, here we have the uh, date and time. So let's quickly go to the settings. Now in the settings we have these um, kind of uh, normal options here, mobile network, Wi-Fi. Uh, also here in the home section we can select Turbit Launcher or Google Launcher, Launcher as our default one. If we install any kind of launchers from Play Store they will also come here. Uh, so, okay now also we have the lock screen, uh, lock screen option like lock screen security, uh, battery status, custom widgets, clock widget, Maximum widgets, these got an option here. Uh, also, has this theme engine I explained earlier. You can have some boot animation, lock screen wallpaper, all that kind of stuff. You can download themes as many as you want from Play Store. There are a ton of more themes. Also, we have the sound here. In sound, we have different kind of options DPS, uh, DSP effect here, music effects, and phone ringtone. As you can see, Modi ROM ringtone theme. That's the default one. Whenever you install a theme from Play Store on the new theme engine, uh, it will install this. Now, uh, one of the best things about this ROM is definitely the theme engine because that's not what you get on the stock ROM. You cannot apply themes, you have to use some launchers and then apply themes on launchers, uh, which kind of sucks because launchers doesn't apply theme that much kind of deep as this one. So we have the sound option here. 
uh, also we have the uh, display and lights here display and lights we can also change the notification light of uh, the Sony Xperia Z smartphone over here uh, this uh, Sony over the Sony logo here to red as you can see to white this light looks pretty cool it's a very extremely good and awesome feature um, we have on this these ROMs it works great on my Nexus 5 and on my Sony Xperia Z2 over here um, also we have the buttons option here uh, I can change the backlight option then we have some buttons and layout uh, some quick shortcut editing all kind of stuff over here and also we have the language input some basic stuff in security I can also have some basic option there's no um, Sony's uh, find my phone option that we got on stock ROM as compared to stock ROM there are a lot of features that are not available there's no 4k video recording I can only record 10 PhD video uh, to record 4k I need some uh, you know Sony camera app uh, so I have downloaded the Sony stock ROM and I will also be posting a tutorial of how to install it on the uh, Sony Xperia Z2 if you uh, install uh, some other ROM so uh, also we have the developer options here a lot of options here uh, then we came uh, then we have the option here called performance now in performance I can uh, down clock my device over here and um, maximum CPU frequency I can change it uh, from all the way down to 300 megahertz to conserve battery uh, but I cannot overclock the device uh, however which is a, not a good thing but you know uh, it only works for underclocking not overclocking um, also we have some 16-bit transparency option you can give you better graphics and uh, but lower quality and you know the stuff here um, so uh, I'm not sure if there is a kernel out there for this device that supports uh, the overclocking but uh, I am actually using it on the TWRP recovery uh, previously but uh, once I installed this ROM it just I uh, have now the CWM recovery now uh, for my device so uh, in terms of performance and overall and battery life it's amazingly good I charged my phone uh, like uh, today in the morning and then I use it a little bit uh, like if some phone uh, some phone usage a little bit usage some Wi-Fi usage uh, but still I have this much battery life 75 percent and I'm clearly uh, satisfied with the battery life uh, and as compared to the stock ROM uh, when I was on stock ROM the battery was still bleeding very well when I listened to song and I lost like three bars uh, three percent of battery and which kind of sucks so uh, battery life and uh, smoothness and performance is extreme on this new Sony Mod M9 so if you have any questions related to this uh, video you can comment down below and I will be uh, showing you the full tutorial of how to install it link will be in the description and also the download link for this uh, for the Sony Xperia Z2 will also be going to be uh, given in that video's description so make sure you visit uh, that video for how to install Sony Mod M9 on the Xperia Z2 all the links will going to be given there so yes I'll see you next month peace